okay, friendly reminder, when you're doing stuff with a calculator, make sure it's in the right mode. So if you want an answer in degrees, you're plugging in a value in degrees, make sure your calculator is in degrees. If you want an answer in radians, or you want to plug in an angle in radians, make sure your calculator is in radians. All right? And another thing about radians, your calculator will probably not put it in terms of pi. So if the calculator says something like, 3.14 radians, that's the same thing as like pi radians, all right? And if you ever want to check it quick, if you have one of those values memorized, like if you do the sine of 30 and you get one half, you know you're in degrees. If you get some weird negative decimal number, then you know you're in radians, all right? So this last question here, um, given the cosine of theta is negative 5 over 12, what is the sine of theta, all right? So let's start off by drawing a picture here. Um, now it doesn't say, remember, so A, S, TC. So the cosine of theta is negative 5 over 12, which means x over r is negative 5 over 12, which means x is going to be negative 5, and r could be positive 12. So the angle could look like this, okay, where that side's 12, and that's negative 5, and then we have to figure out uh, what y is, or it could look like this, all right, so I'll do that y1 and y2. Okay, and that's 12 here. So, um, what we would do now is do the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so this is not a Pythagorean triple. I accidentally messed up. So, if we did uh, 144 minus 25, we get 119. So, the square root of 119 would be the length of that side. Um, and the length of this side would also be the square root of 119. But if we're looking at it as a coordinate, since we're going down here, it's going to be negative 119. So, the sine of theta could be root 119 over 12, or the sine of theta could be negative root 119 over 12. We don't know because we don't have enough information. Because if it tells us the cosine of theta is negative, theta could be in quadrant 2 or 3, because that's where cosine is negative. So you don't have enough information to pick one, so you got to give two answers in this case. All right. If I said, what's the sine of theta given theta is in quadrant 2, boom, that's your answer. Theta's in quadrant three, boom, that's your answer. If I don't say, they're both answers.